Good morning. Today I will be demonstrating how to run a moderated mediation in JASP using the process macro module. Before anything else, I want you to know that 95% of the people who are watching my tutorials are not subscribed. So I would really appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel. So we will be testing this mediation model. So in this model, it suggests that having social capital can predict pro-social behavior. And this social capital is mediated by a sense of agency. So essentially, when one has higher social capital, we also expect the person to have a higher sense of agency. And a higher sense of agency will lead to pro-social behavior. However, since we are talking about a, med a moderated mediation model, that means to say that this mediation might not always be true uh, and this mediation can be contingent on a particular variable. In this case, the suggested moderator is initiative. Specifically, the moderating effect of initiative in the model is between the influence of agency on pro-social behavior. So people who have higher social capital would have a higher sense of agency uh, and higher sense of agency would lead to higher pro-social behavior but only if there is also high initiative. <clears throat> so this is our moderated mediation model. So as the term suggests, the mediation is moderated by another variable. Okay, so let's try to see how we can run this in JASP. So this is our data set. Let's choose process. Again, if this is the first time that you are using JASP and you cannot see process, all you have to do is to click the plus button and put a check mark on process so that it will be available in your options. So our dependent variable is pro-social behavior or essentially helping. And then our predictors, uh, IV, mediator, and moderator are the following social capital, agency, initiative. We don't have a categorical predictor, so that's why this box is empty. We go to models uh, and then we can either do this via model, although I forget what is the model number for a moderated mediation. So I will just build the model uh, myself. So let's first test the mediation model. So let's do this in stages. We'll test this model first. If you look at the model, so this will be from social capital to pro-social behavior with agency as the mediator. So from social capital to pro-social behavior, the process type is uh, mediator and the process variable is agency. So this tests the mediation model. So let's examine the result of this first. So this is our model social capital predicting pro-social behavior mediated by agency. And if we try to look at the parameter estimates, here are our results. So the first thing that we have to look at is the total effect. This is the effect of social capital on pro-social behavior prior to the mediation. So as you can see, social capital positively and significantly predicts pro-social behavior with a p-value of less than 0 0.001. Another support for the significant relationship is when we look at the confidence interval, zero is not a possible value between this confidence interval. But note that the estimate here is the unstandardized regression coefficient. So I want to change that and I want to see the standardized regression coefficient. So to do that, let us go to options and click on standardized. So the regression coefficients that you're seeing now are standardized. So social capital positively predicts pro-social behavior. This is the standardized regression estimate, the p-value, and the confidence interval. And specifically, if you want to examine the paths, social capital predicting agency 
So this is Social Capital Predicting Agency. So this is the estimate that is significant and these are the confidence intervals. Uh, and then from the mediator to the outcome variable agency to pro-social behavior, that would be this. So agency to pro-social behavior. This is the standardized regression coefficient, the p-value and the confidence intervals. And the indirect effect would be this one. So this is the effect of social capital on pro-social behavior um, after accounting for the mediating effect of agency. Now to examine uh, whether there is significant indirect effect, so we have to look at these results. So social capital to agency, then to pro-social behavior. So this is the estimate uh, and it is significant. Uh, these are the confidence interval. So again, how do we arrive at this estimate? This estimate is basically the product of the coefficients from social capital to agency and from agency to, to social behavior. So that basically means that this is a product of uh, 0 0.508 multiplied by 0 0.2414. And that should give you 0 0.109. <clears throat> Okay, so I think what is very relevant in this particular result or the thing that you should uh, take note of uh, in the report would have to be uh, the total effect. So this one I think is the, the most essential thing that you can get out of this particular set of results. Uh, and then uh, we can now proceed to the moderated mediation. So to do that, we simply add to the model. Let's examine what we want to add. So we want to add this one. So we want to add initiative as a moderator. So to build, up, to build the model, we're talking about from agency to pro-social behavior. The process is moderation and the process variable is initiative. So that's what we will input here so we simply add to the existing model so that would be agency going to pro-social behavior the process type is moderation and the process variable is initiative and then let's wait for the results so these are the results so we have our model here here social capital predicting pro-social behavior mediated by agency uh, and this particular path is moderated by initiative. Now I asked you to take note of the total effect of social capital on pro-social behavior a while ago uh, and that is important because as you can see here when we examine the total effect of social capital on pro-social behavior we have multiple estimates here and these estimates are across different levels of initiative, you know, ranging from low initiative, average initiative, and high initiative. And so there is no one measure of total effect of social capital to pro-social behavior. That's why I said that it's important that you took note of that a while ago. So let's examine the other results. To check if there is moderation, we should look at this particular result. The standard regression estimate is 0 0.049 and it is significant. It's also evidenced by the confidence interval, particularly there's zero is not a possible value between the confidence intervals. Um, now to further explain what these results are, let's examine the statistical model for a moderated mediation. So this is the conceptual model of the moderated mediation. However, the statistical model is actually like this. So in the results, there are many regressions that you will test. First, you will test whether social capital has an impact on pro-social behavior. Uh, and in our results, we have that, no? so social capital on pro-social behavior, but this is actually the direct effect already, no? not the total effect. And then 
We also ought to examine the influence of agency on pro-social behavior. In our results, we have that. We have agency and its effect on pro-social behavior. So this is the estimate. It's significant. And then we also test the influence of initiative on pro-social behavior. In our results, we also have that initiative to pro-social behavior. This is our estimate and it's significant also. Uh, and the actual test of the moderation is whether the interaction term or the product of agency and initiative as demonstrated here has an influence on pro-social behavior and if that is significant then we have significant moderation uh, and if you try to take a look at the results so this is our interaction term predicting pro-social behavior here is our estimate and our estimate is significant based on the t-value as well as the confidence interval so this suggests that there is uh, that the mediation was successfully moderated and then finally another part of the model would have to be the influence of social capital on agency and that is also available here so social capital to agency this is the estimate now that we know that there is moderated mediation that means to say that there is mediation but the mediation differs across different levels of initiative. Uh, and where do we find that particular result? Here. All right. So across different levels of initiative, low initiative, average initiative, high initiative, there are three varying degrees of indirect effect from social capital to pro-social behavior via agency. Uh, and you will notice that the estimates are increasing. So as initiative increases, the indirect effect or the mediating effect of agency on social capital increases from 0 0.025 to 0 0.05 to 0 0.075, okay? And if you try to take a look at the p-values, you also see variation in the p-values. While all are technically significant no, at uh, an alpha of 0 0.05, but it's noticeable that the mediating effect of agency on social capital and pro-social behavior is very evident uh, at average and high levels of initiative. But at low levels of initiative, the p-value is much lower, although it is still significant, but much lower at 0 0.048. Okay, so that is how you run moderated mediation in JASP using the process macro module. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comment section. Uh, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.